Okay. So verbal done, quan done. Now on to one of your bigger challenges, DI. Right. What was your? I know you prepared for the GCE for some time. Right. So what was your impression of the DI section coming in? What did you foresee as some challenges with DI? Yeah, so the main issue was the timing issue. For example, in graphical, in Gita, in Gita questions, graphical interpretation and table analysis, I was able to solve those questions, but they were taking a lot of time for me. For example, I'm taking average. I, I just, you know, I was just analyzing my previous mocks, and I just saw that I was uh, taking around three point five minutes, uh, around three to four minutes per question on for the Gita and for TPA questions. I'm, I, I was taking a entire amount of time to solve those questions. So I was at the end of the day, I was able to attempt only like twelve, thirty questions out of the twenty questions in the uh, yeah DS section. So that mm -hmm. was like the timing issue was like insane in that uh, part. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the timing issues was uh, was the issue, and also there were like some uh, verbal DS questions which are like newly introduced and which are like quite time consuming and involves a lot of case studies. So. Yeah, those were also there, which were like mm -hmm. I think those are traps too. Those are traps too. I mm -hmm. think if you don't just if you just skip those questions, that would be beneficial. To yeah, that's what you did on the actual test, right? I believe you skipped one of those extremely complicated DS questions on the actual test. Yeah, I skipped three questions. Uh, yeah, I skipped three questions so that I can do my uh, so that I, so that I can attempt all, all of my questions. Which were like I found out were quite relatively easier one as compared to those three questions, which I wouldn't be able to attempt if I if I would have spent all of my time on my thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen questions, which were like quite hard. I did the same mistake in my first exam uh, mm -hmm. that I attempt I consumed a lot of time on the hard DI questions. Um, yeah, so because of that, I was not able to attempt my remaining questions, which were like very super easy questions on the normal DS quant purely quant based questions, which I, I was like super strong at. And then when I was, you know, checking, when I was just guessing those questions, I was saying like this question I can solve in one minute, but because I don't have time, I can't, I can't solve those questions. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. I and mean, that must have been very, very frustrating for you. But I think definitely the strategic skipping on your part is exceptionally well done. And I also think regarding the timing piece that you mentioned, you've definitely moved away from that because even just looking at some of these graphical interpretation and table analysis questions, you can see that you've worked steadily to bring that time down and make it more manageable overall for you to tackle the entire section, which I think is very, very well done on your side of things, right? So kudos there. But let's delve deeper into DI because there are four very different question types in DI, right? And I'm sure you had a little bit of a different approach across all of them. So graphical interpretation table analysis, you we just talked about it and the timing challenges there, right? How did the course really help you move past those challenges? Did it give you a kind of process to help you move forward? Uh, so actually practice a lot of scholarium. There's a like scholarium in EG, right? So it can, can constitute a lot of like uh, easy, medium, and hard questions on every topic of like, for example, Gita, DI, DS questions, MSR, and TPA. So mm -hmm. I was facing a lot of timing issues in uh, graphical interpretation and table analysis. So what I thought was like, I would do every question of scholarium of medium and higher level difficulty for the G uh, for the Gita course, mm -hmm. and I would make custom quizzes of them, and I would solve them under the time. For example, I would solve ten questions under twenty two minutes. So, and my objective would be I would I would be attempting all those ten questions. I would not like stand like I would not do like six six questions only. My main motive was that I should be able to attempt at least nine or ten questions. I would skip if the question is taking too much time. So yeah. I did attempt a lot of quant scholarium, sorry, DS and DI scholarium quizzes. Even if you can see my account, it's like more than 100% utilized. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we look at Divi's account, and let's actually do that really, really quickly, we'll see that on the scholarium side of things, you have really utilized it to the max, right? So this is your DI scholarium, and if we actually break it down, we'll see the only questions that are remaining are really easy questions across different subsections. This is your quant where you've gone beyond 100 and gone to 106% use. And on the verbal side of things, you've gone to that 124% usage. So definitely you really worked. And 
you didn't just practice these questions from what I understand. You also really looked at those solutions. You really understood what each question could take, uh, could teach you and how to modify things. So you took a lot out of every question that you really yeah, One interesting point was that, for example, if I do a quiz, for example, if I did a hard cementing CR quiz, okay, for 10 questions. So, for example, I did that quiz in 22, 22, 23 minutes. But while I was evaluating my quiz responses, it was taking me around even an hour or even two hours for that. So, yeah, even evaluating those quizzes like was, I think, a big difference because, because like I was able to analyze, like even uh, for analysis, I was taking more than six to seven questions for a minute because I was just analyzing. I have to make sure that I won't be making those mistakes in future again if similar type of uh, like question come or similar type of idea of that question comes, I couldn't be, I should, should not be making those type of errors again. So I was spending a lot of time, even like twice or thrice of the amount of time that I was attempting the questions, I was giving the time for the analysis of the quiz. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's, that is what really uh, made a difference because if you had just practiced blindly across these thousands of questions, then you would still be leaving yourself prone to, like you said, those repeated mistakes. But because you put that effort into analyzing and make sure you don't make repeated mistakes, you didn't, and you went on to get this amazing, amazing score, right? So I think, again, kudos, really well done. On the DS side of things, you faced them uh, both across your GCE prep and your GSE prep. And as you mentioned, uh, there were some differences now with the GFE. How did you tackle DS and how did the how did you really use DS in your test to save some time? Yeah, so actually, after analyzing some of my initial mocks for the GFE, I came to realize that the DS questions constitutes the majority of the DI questions. It amounts to like around seven to eight DS questions out of 20 DI questions. So that was like major component for the DI section. And also out of those eight, 10 questions, there were like five to, for, sorry, six to seven questions, which were like purely quant based, like median, average, overlapping sets, probabilities, and like rate distance problems, those type of questions, which were like purely quant based and were not that difficult to solve. And they, are, they won't take much time also. So I made sure I was like practicing a lot of DS questions, DSP or DS quant questions through the Scholarinium. Yeah, for the DS question, I think I have used Scholarinium and some GMAT club at the end of the, when I didn't have any question left from, from the Scholarinium, I attempted GMAT club for some of the, some of the questions. So I, it helped a lot in like saving time for the other hard questions that come in the DS section. So yeah, for example, the hard MSR questions, for example, I, in the, Exam, I did my MSR correct, but it took a lot of it, it took a lot of a lot of time because mm -hmm. it they are usually hard and they take time. They you can't do anything about that. You have to get the, some time from other questions to solve them. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I saved like for example from all of those like there were six seven DI, DS questions which were purely quant based. I did them in like one or one point five minutes, and I saved a ton amount of time to invest in other questions which were, were quite time consuming got it okay so that's a really really solid strategy right 